Welcome on in, everyone. Uh, we have a parcel delivery freighter. Oh right, this uh, they want me to deliver a parcel for them. We're not going to do that. I don't care. Anyway, here we are at Sirius. Sirius, whatever you want to call it. It's the system that we're exploring next. Um, fairly small system, so we're probably going to get multiple systems out of it. And it's only level 5, so the enemies here will be trashed here anyway. I, I went to Sirius 2 instead of Sirius 1 to begin with, so... That's just how it is. Let's go ahead and give it a nice scan. Ooh, it has a Xeon. Xenon, whatever it is. Abandoned Outpost. Hmm. I'm just adding that to the list because I'm pretty sure we've seen it before. So, let's go over to Cirrus 1, which is a completely barren land. And we'll check out Cirrus 3. Real quick. Real real quickly just get rid of Cirrus from our uh, list of to-dos. Oh, this little planet here. It, uh, I guess it's a moon, first of all. But it looks like it could potentially have had like some sort of flora, fauna in this little area. This strip of stuff. But apparently not. Well, that was Cirrus, everyone. Nothing to really uh, do for that. Let's back out and go to the pup instead, which the pup fairly small as well. So let's go ahead and scan it. I don't see anything on the outside of it. Let's go ahead and make the jump just so I can see if there is anything on the outside. Because again, I'm not sure if things show up on the outside, well, like before you make the jump, like if, if you can see outposts and stuff like that that are showing. So, we'll just have a nice little looky loo. Yep, nothing here. Okay. Nice little place though. Oh, wait, there is a, a ship in orbit? Let's take a look at that. Maybe it's something we can. Uh... Oh. Try to rob me, will ya? Woo! And I got shield damage. Nice. Let's switch over here. And level up. Shields will occasionally resist 100% of damage received. Very nice. I don't have anything else, right? Yet. I don't see anything flashing at me, so... Well, there's another one here. It's way far out, but... Oh, we also got engine systems. Which is right here. Your ship boost lasts longer and the cooldown is shorter. Nice. Oh, we got destroyed 25 ships! The ship reactor produces three extra units of power. Nice, that means I have an extra unit of power I can spend on... Grav jumping now! Okay. So we uh, went ahead and got rid of them. So that takes care of Cirrus and the pup. So it, it seems like when we fully landed on every single planet in a station, the stars glow brighter? I don't know why that one's not brighter. But at least maybe that's how it works, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's find out with Loot and Star. Loot and Star right now is pretty dim. So if we go to it, land on it, I don't see anything here. Go ahead and scan it. Let's set course and jump to it. This might be another, like, very short uh, video. Luton's star. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's nothing here. Um, okay. There is a space station in orbit, though. So I don't think I don't think we saw the space station in orbit previously. So I, I don't think we can see space stations and ships and stuff like that when we're not Attention, in the system. Vessel. You have entered restricted UC military space. Identify yourself, or you will be considered hostile. I'm just a guy. Noted. You have no business here, Constellation. Move along. Any attempt to approach the station will be met with force. You've been warned. This station. Ah. I think this is a uh, another story related station. We'll just we'll bugger off. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it did glow brighter now that we've explored it. That's interesting. All right, well, let's go to uh, Precon A and B. I think they are a little bit larger in terms of the amount of planets they have, so we can hopefully... Hold on. I think I saw a, a marker on the planet there. See, I'm trying not to spoil any of the story and faction quests and stuff like that. So if I do see one that I'd recognize, we're, we're going to fly away from it. But the other ones that we have uh, seen and whatnot, we can go ahead and, you know, whatever. We've already been doing a banner robotics facility. We're not going to land there again. And then we have a little asteroid here. Nothing on it. And then go to I can't see or two, which has nothing. But there is a ship in orbit. United Colonies Merchant. Well, I don't care about merchants, so we're gonna ignore that because we don't really have anything to sell or buy. So that's fine. Nothing on this world. It's also nice that as we are um exploring we're also getting more efficient at being like okay we don't have to jump to every single planet and land on it we can just kind of you know go to wherever we're we're at and kind of go from there and this one is a civilian outpost i don't i know i don't have to type that one there but and then an abandoned mining rig Pretty sure we have already seen that one as well before. Uh, so we've surveyed that boy. Survey this little planet. It's always kind of neat when they have uh, like a, a, a very obvious ice caps that are like huge and then like nice little things like that. Um, I know we've been to mining outposts before. Also, I might as well write down research outpost because we've been to research outposts before as well also industrial um outposts we've also been to i'll write that down there um have i searched all these i have not done this one moon which has a abandoned cryo lab don't think we've been to an abandoned cryo lab yet have we let's take a peek We may have been. We'll, we'll definitely be able to tell when we uh, sit down. Ignore, 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 ignore. Oh, we also have spaceship debris here too, but again, spaceship debris, a whole lot of nothing. Okay, where, uh, where are we at? 
at? What were we looking at again? It was a uh, abandoned cryo lab, right? Yeah, okay. So it's nothing special that has its own landing port. So if this is the one that has like the three um, openings in the top that you fall down into and then you go through that way, we've already been to one of those. So we can go ahead and ignore that. Got copper. We need to find a water source and then we can uh, have the survey data complete here. Also, just a uh, random storage crate in the middle of here, huh? Take it. Come on. Show me some water. <gasps> There's some water. Nice. We'll grab you some fun. Water. There we go. Surveyed planet. Nice. Oh, hello there. I honestly cannot believe I killed him. Um, oop. All that thought, sir. Missed a lot of those shots right there. That was not bad. Hey, don't scatter the ammo around, guy. What are you doing? Oh, there's a magazine right there. Ballistic weapons do more critical damage. Very nice, very nice. I'm just like falling down these stairs. Okay. I'm gonna make an executive decision here. I'm pretty sure I've already been in facilities like this on my own. I don't really want to go through it again. I know it's nothing special. It's literally just clearing out eclipsed guys and then coming back up through there. Um I will kill that one guy there though. Just to get that experience and stuff. But uh, yeah, so essentially you go through this area and you come back up through there and that's your exit. Uh, that's really all there is to this place. It's nothing special. Um, so we're just gonna skip it. Because why set up for something mediocre when we could perhaps find something amazing? Something cool, like when we found the, uh, um, what you call it? The the the, 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 the the lab that growed food that had the high, huge crickets. I forgot what it was called. That place. Anyway, let's go to the fracking station. We haven't been in one of those. Uh, it's going to be a friendly outpost, I know, but... We might as well head there and take a peek at what the place is. Just for all y'all out there who are curious about what kind of things are out there to do. Alright, we got a little bit of grass here. Alright, so... Where is this fracking station? Right there. Oof. There's ten types of animals here on this planet, huh? No kidding. There's one of them now. Giant maggots, essentially. These are like giant fucking eggs. Eggplants. I don't like these at all. Ah. These. They're just 
gross. Imagine if these like are actually eggs and not like actually plants, and they have like uh, they're just they're just like huge creatures in them. Like imagine this is like imagine, if you will, that it is in fact a an egg and not a plant. Now imagine how big the thing that laid it is. Not only is the thing that comes out of it going to be huge, because the egg is huge, but the thing that laid it has to have been huge as well. Hello. Routine inspection. We'll hold off we got the fracking until you're clear. Please don't hold us up anymore. We got a couple of uh, normies out here. Damn, I can't get into this way. I think I can jump over this though. <laughs> nice. This, I we may think, not employ particle detonations. Probably only, just like there's yeah. always work to do here. This here's a particle cracking station, not a tourist destination. Hey, interested in making some credits? No, I'm not actually. Would you be willing to help us? No. That's too bad. Okay, so it's kind of like a civilian outpost and stuff, like a research outpost or whatnot, where they're gonna have like a quest okay, for you to. Uh, okay. Be honest, I have to check this have you do stuff. Decent stuff and it's kind of like go. a place you can sit down and kick your feet up. I'm gonna buy their ammunition because why not? And while I'm here, I might as well sell all of my notes and the grenades. There we go. Okay. Thank you, sir. Well, Oops. gotta go. Escape too many Bye. times. Then you can come out here and uh, open up the mission board, take missions and stuff. Anyway. Was the fracking station a whole lot of nothing? But there was also an industrial outpost, which we've already visited here as well. So you can basically come here and get quests, I guess. Not that I would care too much for quests, but if you're getting quests, you'd probably get them off the uh, quest boards anyway, which would have a much better thing than randomly going to a uh, an outpost, right? Well, I think that's all the things in Procyon A. So how about Procyon B? The glow of the star got a little bit brighter. Oh, wow, there's literally just one thing here as well, and it looks like it's empty. Let's set course and jump in. Just to make sure there's nothing like in orbit or anything like that, that could be interesting. Nope. Just this place. Lovely. Alright. So that was uh, how many planets or systems just now? We looked at Cirrus, the Pup, Luton Star, and Priceon. Okay, so we might, uh. We might go ahead and just say we're done with this video as well. A little 18 minute video. But I can only fit so many in the title, right? I don't want to have like a long title that's like Cirrus, Pup, uh, Lutens, Pycon, Altier, Sol, Ferdinand, Alpha Centauri, Tolman, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but it does look like when you have visited and like fully explored the system that it, uh, it does glow brighter when you've uh, fully explored stuff. Except for this one, because it's it's just so small, right? But, uh... Yeah, some of these I've not actually fully explored, so I'm not sure why they're as bright as they are. Maybe because they're in, like, the settled systems and whatnot. But anyway, we'll, we'll wrap things up here. Um, next time, I guess we're going to search Altier... Bernard Star and Soul, which Soul is our home, uh, our home universe, our home system, I should say, with Earth and Mars and all them. So that'll be a thing to take a look at. 
and uh, stuff like that. So that'll be next time, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. Until then, bye bye.